So I'm going to get started with making an object, the PolyMesh 3D. Now the difference is, is when you make or open a 3D primitive, if I click on this icon here, under the tool menu, you have your tools. If I open this up, I have Quick Pick, 3D meshes, and 2.5D brushes. We'll be ignoring the 2.5D brushes for now and probably the whole time of uh, this beginning course. But what we are going to focus is on the 3D meshes. And if I click on any of these 3D meshes, I'll just click and select Sphere 3D and drag out a sphere. Remember, we have to go to Edit Mode to access the 3D object. Shift F to show the polyframe. And here you can see that it's rotating. And notice that if I begin trying to do anything to this, I'm going to left click here and drag, and a dialog box appears which says, to enable sculpting, please convert this 3D primitive to a PolyMesh 3D by pressing the Make PolyMesh 3D button in the tool palette. So if you're ever lost, just read it, take your time and analyze this. I mean, the tool palette is the only uh, tool menu we're using right now. So if I make my way over to the tool palette and look for Make PolyMesh 3D, and you look around here, you'll see that Make PolyMesh 3D is the option here. I'm going to select that. And now what it does is it allows me to sculpt on this. So I'm left mouse clicking and dragging, and you can see that I'm actually building or uh, pulling the material out. If I rotate, you can see on the profile that now I've changed this sphere shape. So I've actually done something to the surface of this material. The brush we're currently using is the standard brush. The brush that you'll probably use most of the time. And if I click and drag, I'm actually pulling the surface out. And if I hold Alt and click, then I'm now inverting the function, the uh, function, and pushing in. So, dragging without any key selected pulls the material out, and Alt pushes in. Another great uh, shortcut key is, go is going to be Shift. Shift allows you to smooth. So I can smooth away or flatten out what I've sculpted. And basically you're, the process of sculpting is pulling out, pushing in, and smoothing. So you'll be blending the uh, brush strokes down with smooth. So once again I can rotate and hold shift to snap to a camera view. And a new uh, hotkey for you is X for symmetry. So once I hit X, you'll notice that there's two points on the surface and when I start to click and drag, you will see that the brush stroke is happening. I'll get rid of the polyframe. It's a little hard to see with that. But here, if I'm clicking and dragging, whether I'm holding Alt or not, and Shift, everything is happening with symmetry. F to frame. So that's a quick intro into how to make a PolyMesh 3D and begin sculpting.